a bit of an extended break for you guys uh, after, you know, a little pause with COVID and the Christmas break. Just, I guess, how does it feel to finally be back on the ice with the team and uh, get set for another half of the season? Yeah, it was a little bit of a extended break. Um, you know, I, we were preparing uh, to, to play a game tomorrow, but uh, you know, that that's been canceled. So we, uh, we continue on. And I, you know, one of the things that we talked about uh, this morning is that uh, we're just going to have to, keep working here and be prepared for changes as, uh, as they happen. It's kind of a day by day thing. And, um, you know, I, I think at this time, uh, they're kind of all pretty much used to it. So, uh, different lines, um, different practice times, some games canceled, some not, uh, we just have to take it day by day. One of the benefits though, of course, to all that rest has to be some recovery for some of you guys. You know, you see Luke Johnson out there in the non-contact, um, Nick Jones also back on the ice. So, a little bit of benefit too, just to get some bumps and bruises healed up. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, there's two or three, the two that you just mentioned, uh, you know, a little bit more time helps them. Um, and we have four or five practices here in a row. So that gives them some time to, uh, you know, get into a little, some battle situations and things like that, where that they haven't had yet, you know, they've just had skates on their own. So a little bit of physical contact and uh, have them bumped around a little bit to help them get back. Also, a, a couple guys too, you know, also with calls from the Jets and COVID pauses as well, but have also been called up like um, Isaac Johnson and Bobby Lynch, guys from Newfoundland as well. Isaac playing in his first, you know, couple American Hockey League games. Just what have you seen from his development in practice and on the ice in games so far? I know it's been a while already, but um, just your thoughts on their play as a play. Yeah, Isaac, uh, you know, we've only seen him uh, the one game there and uh, in Chicago, he was fine. Uh, you know, he did some did some good things, but it's not really enough time for him to to get up to speed with the pace and, and things like that. He needs to play a few back to back games so that uh, he can get used to that. But uh, in practice, he works hard, he, you know, and he's strong on pucks and he, he does a lot of good things. And uh, Bobby Lynch, uh, you know, we've known here for a while. We know what he can do. He brings speed to our lineup. And uh, I thought he looked really good today in practice again. And have you had a chance to watch any of the world juniors, you know, Cole Perfetti, obviously uh, alternate captain with team Canada. Have you had a chance to watch Cole and what he's been able to do with that team at all? And just, uh, I guess just the thought on him being named one of the alternate captains too for team Canada. That's a, probably a huge honor for a young kid like him. Yeah. A huge honor and probably uh, not probably well-deserved. I mean, he, he, uh, he has leadership qualities in him. Uh, he's a very uh, mature young man and speaks well. And uh, you know, he, he uh, he'll speak up when, when needed and, uh, yeah, good for him. Uh, that's great. Uh, I yeah, I've watched the World Juniors. Uh, um, he's made some great plays. Uh, he reads the ice real well, and protects the puck. Uh, you see him lay pucks into areas that uh, some other players can't see. So uh, yeah, great vision, and uh, as long as we hope that uh, he continues to play like he has. We'll go now to Jason Bell. Coach. You um, appreciate this. What's right. the difficulty from, you know, you guys, uh, I guess you lost your last two. You'd be itching to get back on the ice on Sunday and Tuesday. Those, of course, are on the schedule, but maybe still up in the air. But what's the difficulty of of trying to prepare uh, for, for games when, you know, in this, you know, everything is so uh, uh, sort of unforeseen at this point? Well, I, I think the difficult part is, is the days off, like, you know, so we've had the Christmas break or whatever, and now we come back and we practice for five days straight without, you know, that real game mentality and that game physicalness. So that's probably the hardest part. Like we have to some way, in, you know, simulate that during practice, that uh, game situations, uh, you know, battling on pucks and things like that. So that's probably the hardest part. You know, all of a sudden they get in a game and it's a little bit different than practices. So we need that intensity in practice to stay up and game like drills. So that's what we're trying to do. As far as one of your key guys, Leon Gavanki, um, I know that, that a lot of people have pegged him as an, uh, an Olympian, and maybe you thought that if if things had gone according to plan, you might have lost him for a little bit of time. But And maybe this is one of the only downsides to being under the NHL contract for a guy like him is that he kind of lumps gets lumped in there. Um, you know, he'll be disappointed. I'll talk to him about that. But what is what has he meant to your hockey club? Well, you know, I, I think he's been tremendous. Like, uh, for starters, uh, him and uh, – Chisholm have, have uh, played real well together. Um, you know, they read each other real well. And I think that's helped them individually with their own games. But uh, 
I, offensively, he jumps into the play real well. He sees the ice real well, uh, shoots the puck. Um, he, he's, he offensively, um, he brings a lot to, uh, to our team. And uh, I think his defensive game is getting better all the time. So he skates really well, uh, smart. See, as I said, he sees the ice and makes plays. Um, and the, the big thing for me is uh, in the offensive zone, he jumps off that blue line real well. And, uh, you know, he reads when to jump in and when not to. And he doesn't seem to get himself into too much trouble, but brings lots of offense. 